Hi everyone, I am Wafa Langa and welcome you all in Grammar in Detail. If you are new and not subscribe the channel, so please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get some more videos about grammar. Today we have got the ditransitive verb earn from active voice into passive voice. Before starting this, we will put a glance in the definition of ditransitive verbs. Di means to transitive which can be changed into passive voice verb which shows an action. Those verbs which need two objects. Keep in your mind those verbs which need two objects and can be changed in passive voice in two four ways. And we can change them in a passive voice in how many ways? Four ways are called die or detransitive verbs. Die transitive verbs need one direct object and one indirect object. Direct object means all non livings. Whatever the non livings we have are known as the direct object. And indirect object means all livings. And whatever the livings we have are known as indirect object. You know, if you put one of the objects, the meaning won't be clear and understandable. So for that, you need to uh, uh, you need to put the both uh, uh, that objects. Then the meaning will be clear and understandable. Example: If I say you, and today's example, we will take from the verb earn. How we we say that they don't give meaning. If I say he earns you. Now you know you you are not a money that he will earn you, or if he earns you, what he earns you? Clear that here it is first giving wrong meaning, and if it is giving complete meaning, so the meaning is not clear. So for that you need to put the other object, and what the other object is? If you put it alone again, it will not give meaning. If I say he earns money, now see he earns money for whom he earns money. You need to bring the indirect and direct object together. In order to complete the meaning of uh, the di transitive verb or the d transitive verb in uh, earn, he earns you money. So this is what you know. The meaning is clear that he earns you what money? He earns money for whom? For you. And mostly we bring indirect object at the beginning, direct at the end. But if you want to shuffle the places, indirect object you will be followed by a preposition like he earns money for you. So these are the two ways to change them into active wise. Main target how we are going to change them into passive wise that we will be discussing. And today we have got the die transitive verb. earn with the model auxiliary verb would you know would is a model auxiliary verb and it is used for unreal situations in past we wanted to do it but we didn't or couldn't uh, here it gives this in secondary level the same meaning that you know suppose you know i say i would help you why i didn't help you now two reasons are there that i i uh, i am saying that i would help you Reason number one: I did not help you. Do you remember? You didn't help me, so why should I help you? And reason number two: I did not get the opportunity to help you, so that's why I'm saying that I would help you, but I did not get the opportunity to help you. So for past unreal situations, we use it and we say them in present. In past, we wanted to do it, but we didn't or couldn't. And next, he would. Okay, the simple sentences of that we have got in active voice. and what are these simple sentences which make simple statement he would earn me money he would earn money for me means he would earn me money but he did not get the opportunity or he himself did not earn maybe for any reason or any cause and he would earn money for me and indirect we bring at the beginning direct at the end if you want to bring the direct so indirect will be followed by a preposition for me these are the two ways to uh, change them into active voice main target of we are going to change them into passive voice when you bring the subject we will discuss the rules a bit when you bring the subject in the place of object uh, object and you make it by im so or there by im is not called object but it is called agent and what is the definition of agent it tells us who does an action so see by whom an action is being done by im so or there im is not object but it is called agent means it tells us who does an action in a sentence and when you bring the indirect object or direct object indirect object you me you make i in the place of subject and money as it is in second and third sentence so here it is called no doubt subject but it is not called the doer of an action it is called the title and topic subject 
and what is title and topic subject a person place or a thing in a sentence which we are talking about in first and second sentence we are talking about a person in third and fourth sentence we are talking about thing so when you bring uh, the indirect object in the place of subject in first and second sentence so by im comes at the beginning money at the end money at the beginning by im at the end and in third and fourth sentence when you bring money uh in the third and fourth sentence in the place of subject so by im comes at the beginning for me at the end for me at the beginning by im at the end sentences will be made in this way i would be earned by im money i would be earned money by im money would be earned by im for me money would be earned for me by im next we have got negative sentences those sentences in which we deny the statement reject the statement refuse the statement are called negative sentences he would not earn me money he would not earn money for me I would not be earned by him money. I would not be earned money by him. Money would not be earned by him for me. Money would not be earned for me by him. Next, we have got interrogative sentences. Those sentences in which we ask questions, put queries, are called interrogative sentences. Now, would he earn me money? Would he earn money for me? Would I be earned by him money? Would I be earned money by him? Would money be earned by him for me? Would money be earned for me by? im next we have got formal sentences those sentences in which we ask questions deny the statement we ask them in a formal and polite way we use it with younger seniors and to whom you are not close with would he not earn me money would he not earn money for me would i not be earned by im money would i not be earned money by im would money not be earned by im for me would money not be earned for me by im last we have got informal sentences those sentences in which we ask questions deny the statement we ask them in a informal way would not short form is wouldn't and then would wouldn't he earn me money wouldn't he earn money for me wouldn't i be earned by him money wouldn't i be earned money by him wouldn't money be earned by him for me wouldn't money be earned for me by him so these are the sentences of die transitive verb earn with modal auxiliary verb would Hope you got today's lecture. Wish you best of luck. See you next time with next lecture. Goodbye.